Running a WooCommerce store is fantastic. You can really make a lot of money online, but the challenge comes when it comes to automation. There are certain scenarios where it's very, very difficult to manage and automate. But in today's video, I have a scenario for you and the scenario works like this. So let's say you have a shop. It doesn't matter what products you're selling and someone buys a product and when they go this route, they become a customer and you have loads of these customers on your website. You can send them emails. That's all fine and good. But what if someone decides to ask for a refund? So that means we need to find a way to separate these guys who have asked for a refund on your website to make sure that your website is running okay because you don't want to continue giving them support or even any other extras that you would have given them if they were customers. So you need to separate them out and make sure that they don't get all those benefits of the paid customers. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up this system on our website and show you exactly how to automate your WooCommerce website. So what we're going to do is we're going to install Fluent CRM. Fluent CRM is going to be our automation tool. It's very, very powerful. It has our database for our customers and also applies the automation. Now, this software is a paid software. I have a link in the description below, which has the discount code. If you use my affiliate link, you get 20% off. And also I'll give you a course that makes it easier for you to apply or even use this plugin in the future. But for this example, that's what I'm going to show you. And let's get started now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and installed a Fluent CRM. It is right here. And also I have a product in my shop. In fact, I think I have a few products. Let's have a look at them. I'm going to come over here. So if I come to all products, I think we only have this watch, okay? And VIP member. All right, so what we're going to do now is we need to make sure that we have tags that help us identify who is who, whether someone has been refunded or someone is a customer. So let's go ahead and set up our tags. So to set our tags, we need to come over here to Fluent CRM. In fact, let's go to the dashboard and over here on the dashboard, we need to come to contacts. So just hover over here and click on tags. So here, let's create a new tag. So to create a new tag, just click on this blue button here. So we're going to say customers. So these are all our customers. When someone buys, we're going to tag them with this tag called customers. We're going to confirm. Next, we're going to need a tag for those that have refunded. So let's add refunded here as a tag. Confirm that. Excellent. So we're good to go. Now let's head over to our products. So I want to go back to our shop. So this is products. Click on all products. So the one I want to go to is this one right here. I'm going to click on edit. Next, I'm going to scroll down here and you're going to notice that we have Fluent CRM that has been added over here to this list. Now, this is fantastic because this is how we are going to add our tags. So successful purchase actions add tags. Boom. So the tag is going to be called customers. Okay. Refund actions. Let's add tags. This one here is going to be called refunded. So here we can also remove tags. So we can just say straight away, if we want to remove the tag here on the refund, the one that we need to remove here is the customers. Okay. So this is going to add and remove our tags for us. So in this case here, if someone buys, we add a tag called customers. If they refund, then we, they're going to add a tag called refunded. And we're also going to remove them from the customers list. Okay, so we're good to go here. Now we can hit update. So now you can know what is happening here based on tags. So what if we need to send emails based on these actions? Let's say someone has bought a product. We can send them an email to say, hey, thank you for buying this product, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can also become a VIP member, which gives you a 10% discount every time you purchase a product, similar to what Amazon does. So if we also have that service, we can also apply it and send those automated emails. But if someone refunds or asks for a refund, we should be able to say, hey, I've refunded your product, blah, 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 blah. Then we remove them from the customer list. Now, let me show you how to set the automation. Okay, so to set up the automation, I'm going to come over here to Fluent CRM and then go to automations. So here we need to create a new automation. And this one here is for the refunded guys. So let's add refunded. And this is going to be WooCommerce based. So here we're going to say order refunded. Continue. Okay, so target products. I'm going to leave this blank because this should be any product that is refunded. Okay, 
And then I'm going to hit save settings. Okay, so here is what we need to do when someone is refunded. So we need to tell Fluence CRM what to do. So when an order is refunded, what we need to do here is we need to remove and add tag. So we can say add tag and the tag needs to be called refunded. We're going to save that. Okay, we can also remove a tag. And the one that we need to remove is called customers. We're going to save that. Okay, so you can see what is happening here. When someone refunds, we're going to apply a tag called refunded. And then we're going to remove the tag called customers. Next, we're going to send an email. So this could be a custom email just to notify them that order has been canceled or refunded. So that's going to be our title here. There we go. Order has been refunded. And then you can go ahead and add the body of your email over here. And then all the way down here, if you hit save settings, there we go. So this is a simple automation funnel that works like this. Refunded, apply tag called refunded, remove tag uh, called customers, because the, of course they will start off initially as a customer. And then we're going to send an email to say your order has been refunded. Simple as that. We now can go over here and hit publish. And this now is going to be live. So this automation funnel is going to be listening to all the refunded stuff. Okay, so now you're probably going to ask me what's going to happen with those that have bought. So same thing. We can just go back over here to automations. We uh, create a new automation. So this one here is for people that have bought. So we're going to come over here to WooCommerce. Uh, order completed. I'm going to hit continue. Oops, we need to give it a name here. So we're going to say new customers. Hit continue. So I'm going to leave this blank as well. I'm going to hit save. So this automation funnel here is going to listen to any new products. So now to add an email, I'm going to come over here and send custom email. So this one here is a thank you email for purchasing. I'm going to come over here to the email body, add my content in here. And let's give this a label. So this label here is going to be thank you email or even a welcome email. Let's call this welcome email. Excellent. So now that we have this all set, I'm going to hit save settings. Now, once you send this welcome email, let's say you have a VIP membership on your website, which gives people a 10% discount. You can also send another, another email. And this time we can have a wait time for, let's say, a day. So you can click here on this plus button save and then you can add another custom email uh, talking about your vip membership and then once you're happy with that you can just click here on publish and now you have your two automations and the really cool thing about these automations is you can actually see all the stats here and everything going on here through your funnel so this is how you automate your woocommerce store when it comes to refunds and customers using fluent crm and WooCommerce. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you again in the next video. Take care.